Hey guys, my name is Johnny from Lulu's and today we're gonna to be talking about how you know your piercings are healing. First thing you should know about how your piercings heal or when they heal is time. Time is the most important when it comes to piercings healing because every piercing takes a certain amount of time to heal. Because we're human, we don't heal like robots. For example, your earlobes typically take three to five months. Your earlobes are made of soft tissue, just like your eyebrow and your belly button. So you're looking at about three to five months for anything that's soft tissue. When it comes to cartilage, like your nose and anything on the upper part of the ear, you're typically gonna expect about six to nine months. And for extra sensitive piercings that take extra long time, like the nipple and the industrial bar, you're looking at about 12 plus months. So just remember, piercings take a long time to heal, so just be patient and they'll be okay. Second thing you should know about how your piercings are healing is the color of the area. Sometimes when you're looking at a piercing on the outside of it or really close to that jewelry, you can see like a dark pink or dark red. Every color obviously indicates where you're at with the healing process. If it's very dark red, it's probably very early on in your healing. If it's like a pinkish color, it's getting closer to the healing time. And then if it's just flesh color, it typically means that it's fully healed. The outside of the skin matters, but also the inside of the piercing matters too. So a lot of times when you go in for a checkup or when you're going for a downsize, your piercer is gonna actually remove your jewelry and actually look at the hole. And when you look at the hole, it's gonna tell you a lot of things just like it does on the outside. Redness, dark redness, like a raw meat color, means it's early on in the healing process. A pinkish color is gonna mean that it's getting closer to that healing point. And then if it, the outside of the skin looks like the inside of the skin, your piercing is pretty much fully healed at that point. The next thing is sensation of the area. When your piercing is in the early stages, a slight touch, you can already feel how sensitive it is. But later on, as your piercing is healing more and more, if you accidentally bump it or you accidentally move the jewelry, you're gonna feel less sensation there. So that's very important. The less you feel whenever it's moving or it's being bumped to, the better it is. There's people that are out there that have piercings for many years. They can kind of move it around, mess with it, fold it here, sleep on it, and nothing happens. Obviously that's a healed piercing and that's kind of what the goal is. So just remember, the less you feel and the less sensitive it is, the better it is. The more you feel and the more sensitive it is, the fresher the piercing still is. Number four is pretty much any kind of liquid, whether it's like pus, just clear liquid, blood is oozing out of the piercing. That definitely means the wound is still open and it's not fully healed yet. That's the early stages on. When you get to the point where you start noticing crusties or any kind of like stuff like that growing around it or, uh, in that area, you're definitely kind of in the middle section. When your ear is completely dry and there's no liquid coming out, no pus, no crusties, nothing whatsoever, then that pretty much indicates that the piercing is pretty much fully healed or almost healed at that point. So just keep in mind that anytime liquids are coming out or any crusties, you're still not fully there yet. Number five is always check in with your piercer to confirm that your piercing is fully healed. At the end of the day, they're the ones that are gonna tell you if it's fully healed. You obviously watch this whole video at this point and you kind of already know generally what your piercing needs to look like, but the best way to get the reassurance, to get the confirmation, to get the stamp of approval is to go to your piercer and have them do a full checkup to make sure it's healed. They're gonna go through their questions, they're gonna go through the same thing I did with the discoloration, with the sensation, with all that stuff, and they're gonna tell you for sure that your piercing is fully healed. Once they give you the green light, then you know for sure. Other than that, don't ever assume because you're not a professional, you haven't seen piercings on a day-to-day -day basis to judge whether a piercing is healed or not. Talk to your piercer, let them confirm it for you. That way you have peace of mind that you know it's fully healed and there's no kind of like second guessing yourself. I'm gonna throw a bonus in there, just kind of like an extra fact or just something to keep in mind. Just remember that everyone is different, everyone's body is different, everyone heals differently. So don't ever compare your piercing to another person's piercing or don't compare a piercing that's up here to down here or from here to here because different parts of your body heal differently, different parts of your body are more sensitive. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Don't compare piercings, don't compare your piercing to your friend's piercing or your mom's piercing or your sister's or whatever because everyone's body heals differently. So there's no need to kind of compare and be like, how come they healed quickly or how come they took forever? Your body's gonna heal at the pace it's gonna heal. So just keep that in mind and don't compare and just trust the process. If you like this video, click the video right up here to continue watching.